What is Hatch and Tug Peeps? Old Man Tub coming at you today. And today we have the new revised Sunny Sword team. And this. Ah. I'm going to have to get a new format or layout because this one is just all bonkers. Okay, so let's. We have our team down here. We can see most of his team there. Eh. Okay, so what's his most likely lead? He has nose pass. And not the big one. I don't know. So let's set up the sun. We don't have a reason not to at this point. So he has level one nose pass. Which means he's gonna do those things that you do with level one air on in previous generations. He gets Toxicus right off the bat. Which is okay. Not a problem. We're going to set up rocks here. He could do that Endeavor, whatever the heck it's called. The one that takes us down to the same amount of hit points that he has. We're just going to set up rocks. He's going to do the same thing. And we're just going to roar him out because I don't have to deal with this crap. He's going to pain split. Okay. That... I mean, I guess that kind of helped him. Now, who do we want to go into for this? Should we go into Tracheon? I don't know if we can take two Brave Birds. But looking at his team... Can Vaporeon take a pair of hits from this thing? I think so. He's going to Brave Bird. Okay. Easily can take a pair of those. We've got leftovers. Did he have leftovers too? Talent. Yep, he has leftovers. So he could be a bulky variant. So at this point, I'm just going to set up a wish. Get us back all the way up. We can protect next turn. Are we good to go? He's going to brave for it. He's going to crit. Was the first one a crit too? Brave bird lost 39. That's a really high low roll there. Wow. Alright, um, is he going to roost this turn, knowing we're going to protect? Oh, we have to protect. Oh, if I had a Scald right there, should have listened to my his art. Okay, now what's he going to do? If I had to guess, he's going to switch out into Tentacruel, but since I can only see one, two, three, four, five of his team. Who was the last one? Nosepass was out first. So we're missing one Pokemon from this. I don't know why this is all screwed up. But. I'm just going to switch out into Garchomp here. Because if he Brave Birds, he's going to get Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet, and he's going to get Nailed. Yeah. He's going to get Nailed by the thing. So. That crit before did what, like 30, 51%, and we're above that, so we can just go for a safe Scald. He's going to Brave for this, that's, I don't know, I would call that a questionable play, but I mean, it does put us at a very low range to where we can get hit. Today we're eating blackberries, which are delicious. Okay, so we're back at... Just below a quarter after leftovers recovery. And here comes Bisharp. Now. Is he going to attack first turn? Is going to be the question. Or is he going to set up a sword stance like a turd? <laughs> I mean, I want to say he has to go for a knockoff right now. He almost has to. What item do we have on this? Leftover. Is this a bulky Exodrome? We're just going to hard switch into Tracheon. I'm going to say he almost has to go for the knockoff here. He's going to Swords Dance. Okay. Now, we're going to resist any incoming shenanigans. So, even if he decides he wants to go for the... the... Sucker Punch, I think we're going to live. Because it's resisted, we're going to get a Defiance Boost, and we're just going to just nail him to the wall with something. 
No, what's he want to do? I mean, he has to switch. What does he want to do? So, let's see. What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to take his time. He's probably running a damage calc. And he just leaves it in. Why wouldn't you have gone into... But you got Scar Marie, which I probably do max 50% to. You could have gone into Tentacruel. And we outspeed you, so at this... I want to say at the second. At this moment, he doesn't... He doesn't... Dang it, Mike. I don't have... Why did I say Mike? Blue, you took my Earthquake off of Venusaur. So let's. I want to Charizard. I need to get rocks off the field, is what I need to do. Now, what's he gonna do here? Let's just go into Venusaur. Yeah, Vaporeon. We're gonna get the water, water heal thing, which is fantastic. We're bulky, so he can't do anything to us. We just need to set up... He, he can rapid spin, I don't care. We just need to set up the wish and get some things healthy. So let's do that. Then we'll go from there. But I definitely missed that earthquake on that Venusaur. So there's still a Pokemon on his team we haven't seen, and it is... So for some reason shifted off of the the layout here which is unfortunate we can't even see all our marks I mean our show up on the bottom okay come on dude what you gonna do you got 90 seconds to make up your mind like I said at this point eh, if I was him what I would do is I would go into Skarmory and start shuffling my team up Odds are, you are going to, at some point, get Charizard out, and that... How much damage does that do? 25%. Yeah, we better protect. So, I mean, at this point, you should just start shuffling my team, because, like I said, you're going to at least get half damage. At least. Do we let him knock off our leftovers here? Do we let him Giga Drain us? Was he predicting a switch there? No, he's, if he scalds here, he's pro play and deserves it. Gonna rapid spin, okay. We'll take that all day long. Mega Evolution. I don't know his last one. If I knew what his last one on, I'd feel completely confident going for Solar Beam right here. I don't remember from Team Preview either. Let's just go for the Solar Beam, see what he wants to do. He's gonna Scald us. That's... He was faster than us. So he's a speedy Tentacruel. That really just happened? Alright, well, we're setting up a solar beam. I can't... I... What did I miss there? I don't think Charizard's speed changes when it Mega Evolves. And he Scalded. So, I mean, that's fine. Now... This Tentacruel could have that Liquid use, so we're not gonna... Oh, he'd come in and just drop a solar beam. Oh, yeah. <sighs> what was the speed on our Charizard? 328. So if we come in with this, he's going to outspeed us. I don't like that. At all. Now, he doesn't have a dark type anymore, so I'd go for Zen Headbutts for days. But, if he brings in Skarmory, it's resisted, and I have to switch out because I'm choiced. Let's go into Venusaur and get all the benefit out of this sunlight that we can. 
Yeah, let's just go for the solar beam. And if Charizard was doing that much, we're going to get a lot more out of Stab. There we go. There we go. Goodbye, Tentacle. Now, unless he has some crazy fighting resistance his last Mon, we could bring in... He has no priority left. I don't have rocks up. Which means I'm gonna have to play shenanigans with him to get around that nose pass. Which is fine. What's he gonna do at this point? I don't have HP fire on this, I have HP ice. Which is gonna make it harder for me to take down Skarmory with this. Which means I'm not gonna be able to take down Skarmory with this. Because the, the best I can do is neutral hit it for HP Ice, which is terrible. Hmm. Now he brings in Skarmory, so he's playing smart. I really think at this point... I can win to Exedrill. That's what I want to do. I want to get rid of these rocks. Now he could Whirlwind here. He's not going to. I'm just going to get rid of these rocks. Because unless he has dual rock setters, I doubt he's going to bring that goofy nose pass in on this. Because he can't toxic me. Which I think is going to foil most of his endeavor. Or whatever shenanigans he might have going on with nose pass. So, let's see what he wants to do. I'm just going to Rapid Spin because I need to get rid of the rocks. It's going to be good for the rest of my team. It's going to give me, an, I don't want to say an extra turn of leftovers, but I'm not going to have to heal that damage back off from Vaporeon. And, uh, what's he have left? What's he going to do? Now, I don't know why he's taking so long to think about this. Unless he's trying to figure out whether or not he wants to whirlwind. Setting up spikes, okay. So that was really smart. He thought I was gonna rapid spin, so he comes in and sets up spikes. Now, does he have Rocky Helmet? He does, and that made contact. That sucks so bad. So we lost damage even with the leftovers there. That is bollocks. Good lord, how much damage does Rocky Helmet do? So this is going to be... A huge pain in the butt. War that I don't want to deal with. So, I'm not going to keep just, just kill myself for and spinning these things away. To where I'm going to end up with a layer of spikes when I get something else in anyways. So... I'm gonna switch out here. He's actually taking time to think. I don't want to say that's surprising and sound rude, but I don't know why he's taking so much time to think about. I wonder if he's trying to get me into Brave Bird range. I mean, that, that, that's resisted, so I don't, I don't understand. What we need to do is get a Scald Burn on this thing. So he's got three layers of spikes up. We got the burn. There's our residual damage. GG. So we're going to set up a wish here. This battle's taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. We're only 23 turns in. This is going to be the whole stinking video. We're at 15 minutes almost. What? He's going to roost. Knock yourself out, bud. Now, I wonder if he whirlwinds me out here, he would be doing me a favor. Ah! <laughs> oh, my friend. Now, Oh man, this thing's probably going to outspeed me. If he could have whirlwinded me into anything else, now I would have been in a much better spot. 
That was enough to take it out. Wow. Wow. That was insane. Hitmonlee was his last Mon. Okay. Now, what can he have that's going to hit us really hard? Does he have Aerial Ace? Does he get something crazy like that? We're just going to Giga Drain. And we outspeed. So he's going to Stone Edge us, and that's not going to do nearly enough. Now, he didn't have a Berry. I mean, he... Citrus Berry pops at 50%, right? And he's well below that. So he's going to endure here, which I, uh, plus one and a half attack. So there's the lychee berry. Okay. Now that was what he needed. So now he has the unburdened boost. Okay. Now he's got the, this is a really good strategy. A really good strategy. Now what I need to know Wicked strats. I'm scarfed. So I'm choiced. He's like, oh my speed's doubled. Yeah, well guess what? Your speed is crap. Which is why my Venusaur outsped you. So, my apologies, my friend, Mike Tyson, but that was... So, we're just going to close combat this thing. He is at sturdy range. No. What the heck was that? Berry juice. Oh, that item is so broken in Little Cup. And this is where not having priority on your team really hurts. But he can't Toxic Excadrill. Excadrill. So, I mean, there isn't much he's going to be able to do at the end of that. And I'm just going to be able to Iron Head him until he flinches. And that's fine. I'm not, not worried about that in the slightest. So... I want to toxic this thing first. Oh, he forfeited. Oh. And he left. I didn't even get to throw a GG at him. I'll say it anyways. Because good sports. Well, that was 20 minutes worth of video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And I really, really like that Hitmonlee. Unfortunately for him, it's just not quite fast enough when you have a Scarf Pokemon in your pocket. Now, luckily for us, we had enough speed investment to outspeed it. I don't even know how close it was at that point, because I'm not going to be able to look. But, thank you for watching this episode, and I don't think I said it in the beginning, because this was a, a second time recording of this, of the Thunderdome. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This was CantoCast Blue's update of my previous Sunny Soar team. And while it's going to take me getting a little bit used to, so we'll probably see one, maybe two more videos of this, depending on how many battles I get into each with this team. Like I said, I'm already missing a few things, but once I get more into the swing of this, because I had used the Sunny Sword team for so long, I was just used to everything being where it was. So we're going to give this a few more tries, make sure that uh, we like Blue's changes. Uh, if you don't, speaking of Blue... Him and I are doing a GBA D-League series called Pivotal Moments. Look for it every Wednesday during the D-League, which first, which week one is this Sunday. So keep your eyes peeled on all the D-League channels because all that stuff's going to be going up Sunday. And first Pivotal Moments will be up Wednesday, so look forward to that because I am. But anyways, guys, this has been All Man Tough. Uh, also, go check out the Canto cast. If you aren't subbed to them, go sub to them. They do an excellent podcast. 
Kanto Cast Blue and Kanto Cast Yellow, two excellent content providers, uh, husband and wife team, and they're just fantastic, and I love their content and their podcast. So go check that stuff out. As always, guys, this has been All Man Tough, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.